Hey guys, this is Seth here. This is Josh. And uh, it's been a while since you saw our last video, unless you're, this is like 2020 when you're watching this, and uh, <laughs> yeah, you're probably just catching back up. Back to back. Yeah, back to back. But anyways, we're, uh, it's been a while since we've recorded our last video. We've been pretty busy, and we're not busy with like fixing up, I mean, part of it is fixing up the house, but part of it is, a, uh, is an issue we've encountered as part of this deal. And uh, yeah, we got one of those emails one day where it was a picture of a condemnation or a summons for a condemnation hearing for the house that we purchased. And of course, it happens to be this Irving house we're working on. And uh, yeah, that was kind of the biggest time consumer for the last few weeks. And uh, we can make a whole other video about what does a condemnation mean and uh, yeah, how to get around it or how to work through it and you know, all the complications with doing that. Uh, but today we just want to update on the progress, you know, where we left off last time and then what progress we made in the house today. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, since the condemnation work, or since we got the condemnation letter, a lot of work has been, been done in the last month. Um, if you remember the last video when we showed the outside of the house, you know, there was only siding on the bottom half of the house, the top yeah. half, the... The peak and everything didn't have new siding on it. Yeah, and it's a different um, sizing, right? The new siding is a bit wider than the old siding. The old siding's probably the little four inch. Yeah, stuff. four inch. Yeah. Um, so that's all done. Uh, we've got it all cocked and painted, and sealed in. Um, it looks really nice now. Um, we've done some other things since it's going to be a full electric house. We pulled the gas line out. Other things. So as part of this condemnation thing, we had to get a full new contractor. So. Um, he had some new ideas for us. Uh, if you remember, the chimney looked a little goofy on the front. I <laughs> saw some weird patches and things on it. So one of his ideas was, you know, you're not going to use it. Just rip the thing out. So you'll notice that there is no more chimney anymore. Um, mm -hmm. All the way down the inside of the house, it's all completely gone. They patched the roof, did it all. Um, yeah. And it was actually surprisingly cheap to remove the fire or the chimney. Yeah. You know, our assumption was like it's going to like 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks to remove a chimney. It was less than that. It was probably less than two fifty. Yeah, yeah, it was, it, down it was pretty cheap. So, so don't be scared of projects if you're working on something that seems like it's a big deal. We kind of freaked out a little bit when he said, "Yeah, let's remove the chimney. Let's pull the chimney out." Your first reaction is like, "No, oh man, <laughs> I don't know about that." It's like a structural component of the house. It's like, no, it doesn't matter. Just yeah, take it out. It was pretty easy. Um, they did it in less than a day, I think. Yeah. It helped that, like, you know, there's no walls or floors or anything to get in the way, but, you know, yeah, it was still, it was still. If there's cool. ever a house to do it, that was it. Yeah, that was it. Another thing we did, we uh, poured a concrete um, walkway all the way around the outside of the house. There were a couple reasons for that. One was because the uh, foundation on the exterior looked, it was, it was not totally sound, um, so we added a little bit of support. We also wanted to keep the water away from the house. As, you know, when it rained, we wanted it to uh, kind of slope away from the house so that it wouldn't go in straight down the foundation. And the foundation work itself has been since has been completed. Um, we don't have shots of the foundation itself as it was done because um, the floor was already laid over top of it. <clears throat> but the foundation has been we basically added new concrete, and you'll see in some of these shots of the concrete, uh, you know, bags of concrete, basically quick creek that we have at the house, um, all done by Mike or our contractor and his crew. Yeah. yeah. Some of that was uh, mandated by the city, so part of the condemnation, we had to go to these hearings and get a structural engineer to come out, and those were some of the required fixes we had to do. Um, so it was all done up to code, and it's been inspected since then. But uh, multiple again, inspections, was, yeah, multiple inspections later, it's yeah. it's better off than it ever has been. Yeah, <laughs> it was a blessing in disguise. You know, everybody freaks out and says foundation work super expensive. It wasn't the cheapest part of the project so far, but it was. It was a good thing to do. Now we're building on a solid base. Yeah. And of course we painted the house now. I mean, that's been, it's been completed. So the, really essentially the outside of the house is not complete. Yeah, it's pretty much done. Um, we just need a, so you will see in some of the shots that, you know, the outside looks real uh, bad still. I mean, there's just the yard. garbage. Yeah. Trash. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, there's a whole lot of, <laughs> whole lot of stuff there. Yeah. Um, another benefit of working with the certified contractor. So if you remember in our previous video, we had uh, a super janky light. Oh, that's right. Yeah, stringing yeah. wires across the room and you know, I had it plugged in and powered with an outlet. Um, this new guy, he brought in a temporary power pole and he's he's got it hooked up to city power and we had to pull a permit for it, but yeah. um, it allows them to work with power just like the whole house has power. Um, yeah. 
And no more generators, paying for gas, and all this other stuff that comes with temporary power. I'm worried about the uh, contractors asphyxiating with the True. fumes in the house. Right. We're kind of worried about that when they're in there, but don't have to worry about all that. All the concerns more. with that, yeah. And then I guess our paint, our, back to the paint, I guess our paint, I think we're going to keep it the same paint scheme throughout. So mm -hmm. as you'll see, it's kind of, kind of like this navy, darker blue. Uh, maybe it's a little bit away from what we thought it was going to turn out like, but I think it still looks good. I mean, yeah. I don't know, leave us a comment if you think the color, you like the color, or if you don't like the color. <laughs> yeah. uh, we might switch it up just a little bit, but so far it's been kind of, uh, I think it looks nice, the, know, personally. Yeah, the thought was on all our projects, we kind of go with the same color scheme that matches our company logo and all that, so yeah, um, that's kind of how we ended up with the blue and white. Just a little bit of a marketing, I guess. So you see drive around the house, or drive around the town, and see a bunch of houses that are painted the same way, yeah. you might start seeing. Yeah. Of course, you got to get to a level where it's like a hundred plus houses before you start noticing. <laughs> you won't notice when there's only one house on one street in town. <laughs> yeah, not much of a marketing campaign then. I guess in the videos, uh, plumbing. Plumbing was a big deal. Yep. Um, that was a, the big thing that changed. Um, and you'll see a lot of plumbing has just we've added new plumbing. We'll also replace some of the old plumbing. Um, you know, we're gonna washer dryer is hooked yep. up. Yep. Our hookups are done. All, all the, the, all the drain, drain, drain lines are done. Drain lines Supply are done. Supply lines aren't quite done yet. Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of the framing was removed. If you can tell from uh, the short section of the where you see the fireplace being gone or the chimney being gone, some of that framing is also gone. Yep. You can tell we're going to put a whole new closet in there yep. uh, since the space has opened up. Um, so one of the other things that we were, uh, that was kind of new, the contractor came in, he kind of knew what he was talking about and said, you know what, y'all have a whole bunch of extra weight on the ceiling. You that's true. A lot yeah, of that that's a good out. point. Yeah. The uh, previous owners, they had, um, I don't remember what the material was, but there was a material for the ceiling. Then they put more wood on top of that to put the drywall on. And he said, you can just pull all that out. So they did that. It looks a heck of a lot better. There's a heck of a lot weight or a heck of a lot less weight sitting on it, mm -hmm. um, which is good. Yeah. I mean, it really just came, kind of came from almost like felt like it was Bush League situation where we didn't know what we were doing <laughs> and we we're probably cutting it we were uncomfortable with cutting some corners it felt like we were cutting corners and didn't feel right to now we're, we're it feels better absolutely, i think absolutely condemnation is like a disguise you know blessing in disguise if you will yeah. that made us realize that hey how we want to do it is like this yeah and uh it might cost us extra of course but you know it's part of the deal i think absolutely the stuff we're learning from it and sharing it with you guys is worth the worth the extra effort our contractor's been he's been Kind of a rock star so far. We got pretty lucky finding him. Um, he's he kind of knows what to do, what who to talk to, when we need an inspection, when we need to talk to the city. Um, he's been incredibly helpful. Mm -hmm. a lot, all these things that you know we weren't we either weren't comfortable with or we just didn't know we needed to, to, to do. Um, yeah, we might have to do a special video just for importance of contractor <laughs> and what what a good contractor looks contractor like. Contractor triangle. Contractor triangle. <laughs> That's probably, look for that in one of our next videos. Oh, absolutely. And uh, anyways, uh, this is the end of the video, and we'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Peace. Have a good day. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Smash that like button. Smash that like button.